In this video, you'll learn to create an alignment, a surface profile, and a layout profile. First, create the alignment. Navigate to the ribbon, click Alignment, and then click Alignment Creation Tools. In the Create Alignment Layout dialog box, enter a name for the alignment. Select a style and label set for the alignment. Click OK. You can use a variety of tools to lay out alignment geometry. For this example, you will create a series of connected tangents and then add curves at the points of intersection. In the Alignment Layout tools, click Tangent, Tangent, No Curves. Start laying out the tangents by specifying a point and then specify additional points. Press Enter to end the command. The tangents are laid out and the alignment is labeled. In the Alignment Layout tools, click Free Curve Fillet between two entities radius to add a curve between two of the tangents. Select the first tangent and then select the second tangent. Specify that the curve solution angle is less than 180 degrees. To enter radius, you can click and drag in the drawing, enter a known value, or press enter to use the default value. For this example, press enter to accept the default radius value of 200. In the alignment layout tools, click free spiral curve spiral between two entities to add a curve along with spirals for transitioning into and out of the curve. Select the first tangent and then select the second tangent. Press enter to specify that the curve solution angle is less than 180 degrees and press enter to accept the default radius value of 200. For the spiral in length, enter a value of 50. Enter the same value for the spiral out length. The spiral curve spiral curve group is added to the alignment. Press enter to end the command. Zoom into the alignment to view the curve and the spiral curve spiral. You can select the alignment and use the grips to edit the geometry. You can also edit the alignment geometry by changing the parameter values in the alignment entities vista. In the alignment layout tools, click alignment grid view to display the alignment entities vista. For this example, change the radius of the selected curve to 250 and press enter to update the curve in the drawing. Close the alignment layout tools. Next, you will create a surface profile by sampling a surface along the alignment. Navigate to the ribbon, click Profile, and then click Create Surface Profile. In the Create Profile from Surface dialog box, you can specify which alignment and surface to use to create a profile. Click Add to add the profile to the profile list. Then click Draw in Profile View. You can use the Create Profile View dialog box to define the Profile View grid. Click Next to view the Profile View options. For this example, accept the defaults by clicking Create Profile View. Select an insertion point in the drawing for the Profile View. The Profile View is created and contains an existing ground profile that represents the elevations of the surface along the alignment. Now you can use the existing ground profile as a guide to draw a profile that represents the finished grade along the path of the alignment. Navigate to the ribbon, click Profile, and then click Profile Creation Tools. Select the Profile view to specify it as the view in which to create the layout profile. In the Create Profile Draw New dialog box, select a style and a label set for the profile. Click OK. You can use a variety of tools to lay out profile geometry. For this example, you will create a series of connected tangents with curves that are automatically added at the points of vertical intersection. In the Profile Layout tools, click Draw Tangents with Curves. Use the existing ground profile as the guide for drawing the layout profile. Then press Enter to end the command. You can select the profile and use the grips to edit the geometry. You can also edit the profile geometry by changing the parameter values in the Profile Entities Vista. In the Profile Layout tools, click Profile Grid View to display the Profile Entities Vista. You have the choice of editing the parameter values of the PVIs or the individual entities. For this example, in the Profile Layout tools, select Entity Based. In the Profile Entities Vista, change the radius of the selected curve to 4000 and press Enter to update the curve in the drawing. 
close the profile layout tools and then zoom in to view the alignment and the profile view.